Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Most of the time, people use Excel to do addition. In fact, it occurs so frequently that Excel has included a feature called AutoSum that automatically calculates any column or row of uninterrupted numbers, meaning no blank cells. This saves you having to type out a long string of cell addresses or typing a ranged formula. To do this, place the active cell cursor at the end of the column or row which you would like to add, and then click the Auto Sum button on the standard toolbar. Excel will suggest a range for you to add by highlighting it. If it's incorrect, note that you can click and drag over any cell range that you would like to add to change it. Finally, once the appropriate cells are enclosed, go ahead and press enter on your keyboard or click the green check mark in the formula bar to accept the formula. Another way to use this tool is to first click and drag over the columns or rows which you would like to add, leaving a blank cell at the end of each one in which you would like the answer of the formula to appear. So for example, to sum all of these different regions of the company, I could click and drag over all the cells, leaving blanks over here at the right. Then just click the Auto Sum button once in the standard toolbar, and you'll see the sums appear over here at the right. Now if you try to Auto Sum a cell that is at the intersection of a row and a column, Excel will attempt to add the column over the row. So for example, if I'm in a cell right here where I've got data above and data to the left, clicking Auto Sum, you can see by default we'll want to add the data above. Just watch out for that and make sure that you click and drag over the appropriate range of cells to add. In Office XP in 2003, the Auto Sum button also isn't just limited to the Sum function either. You can actually click the little black drop down arrow to the right of the Auto Sum button to select a different function to perform. So, for example, if we wanted to find the average for each year, you can select the cell range and then click the drop down arrow next to the Auto Sum button. We could perform an average, a count, max value, min value, or you could even select more functions to call up the insert function dialog box where you can select from all the available functions in the program. We'll discuss the insert function dialog box in the next section. For now, just note that if you're running XP or 2003, you can also automatically find things like averages or the highest value or the lowest value. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.